Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Miracle of Shame. Here's your Harper moment, because that's apparently what everybody really wants in these. So, here's Harper. Isn't she huge? She's gotten so big I can't hardly pick her up. i got to find a better way to get her into these videos. Alright, say bye Harper. Bye Harper! There you go. Go play. Okay, so, we're going to make a drink for you tonight. Oh crap, look at the shadow on my face. Give me a second. Safety first. And now you can see me better. So, um, we're going to make a drink. And it seems like a simple drink. And, well, it really is. Um, I'm not a big brandy and Coke, Corbell and Coke guy. I prefer to just grab my Corbell and, you know, you know, normally. Maybe on a little ice. Oh. But occasionally, I want to be able to stay awake and, you know, get drunker. Because that's obviously what I generally need. So I got I got one here that I got to finish up. So, all right. So you're thinking, my God, Tim, what can you treat, teach me about a Corbell and Coke? Because it's just Corbell and Coke. I forgot what I was going to say. Anyway, um, no, it's not just a Corbell and Coke. So, we're going to make one. Let's start here. First things first. Yeah, first things first. We need some ice. Freezer's right over here. We're going to grab us a yeah, pretty good amount of ice. For a reason. One more. And wait, wait. One for Harper. Hear that? She loves ice cubes. Okay, so we got our ice. Now we're going to get our bottle of Corbell, which was new tonight. I already opened it. Had a drink or two. Took out the restrictor plate because those are stupid. Now what we're going to do for our Corbell and Coke here at home is we're going to cover our ice. Cover our ice. Make our ice float. Whatever. Spin the cap on. Grab us our Coke. Because, you know, it's okay with Pepsi. It's okay with Diet Coke. It's okay with Diet Pepsi. But, let's face it. Should be Coke, right? Isn't it? Really? I mean, then it's probably more than we need there. Because, let's face it, everybody. The Coke's just for color. Now, here's the thing I've found with Corbell and Coke. For me, personally, I, I don't have any problem with anybody who orders them. At least they're getting Corbell. Uh, they're sweet. They're too sweet for me. Yeah, what? you know what? I was kidding. I'm going to throw a little bit more Coke in that. That's enough. Uh, but uh, it's just, you know, it's always a little bit a little sweet for me. But I don't do a lot of caffeine during the day. So when I, seriously, when I want to not be passing out early, I... Throw some Coke in it, and then you get yourself, you know, awake longer to be drunk longer. But we're using the elixir of life. Oops, better get that for Harper goes. The elixir of life to make it more palatable for me. Now, look, you think this is crazy, but let's face it. Brandy and bitters go together like peas and carrots, like... Harper and being an ass ha asshole, uh, you know, it's just, it just works really well. So you give yourself a couple nice shots, maybe three nice shots of bitters in there. Oh, look, I still have room in my glass. Whatever shall I do? Wait, wrong bottle. <laughs> That's the drinking bottle. That's the pouring bottle. Pour a little more in there. There you go. Now we have... What I will call the perfect Corbell and Coke. Uh, the bitters just give it a little extra, you know, make make you f not not masturbate, make you feel a little bit more like you're drinking an old fashioned, like somebody put some effort into it. Um, again, it's not for everybody. Not everybody likes bitters, but 
<laughs> I sure do. So until next time, everybody, have a great weekend and uh, bottoms up.